Hi, welcome to Cafe Latte. Yes, I have pointy fairy ears. No, you may not touch. Yes, they have always been that way. I just typically hide them under a glamour so I don't get weird looks. The reason I do not have the glamour up at the moment is because that takes effort and I am tired. Now, what are we ordering? Oof, one of those days, huh? We get it. We're in food service too. We're honestly just here for a couple of drinks and to hang out. Oh, bless you. What are we getting? Large coffee with room for cream and sugar. Um, I'll try one of your medium dryad blackberry lattes, please, with soy milk, if you will. If there's a sugar-free option for the flavor, that'd be great. <laughs> Could you make it a complicated order? She's just going to use regular milk. That's what I do. I have a lactose allergy. Any dairy means hours, if not days, of agony. Well, okay, but you're the exception. Oh no, we're not brushing that off. What gives you the right to dictate what I or anyone else eat or drink? If we ask for a specific item because of allergies, or we're trying to be healthy, or we just like the taste, what gives you the right to say, nah, I'm just gonna give them something else instead, without telling them? The fact that it's a pain in the ass to make? I will admit that some orders are more difficult than others, but it's also what I'm being paid for. Let me ask, do you often completely disregard people's specific orders and give them whatever's easier, regardless of any allergies or health concerns they may have? N no, ma'am. Just because the Fae cannot lie doesn't mean that we can't tell when someone else is lying. Well, you get it. Five days a week, eight to ten hour shifts, dealing with Karens all day. I'm not dealing with needlessly complicated orders. Needless? Well, if that's how you feel, then you can get a copy of all the pain you cause with such carelessness. For the next seven years, every time you make someone physically suffer through your work, you're going to experience everything you put them through. Diarrhea, swelling, sneezing, coughing, cramps, pain, death. <laughs> that is not fair. Which part? The curse? Or having to suffer because someone else decided that they didn't want to take your concerns seriously? or having to use some of your already limited energy cursing a self-centered idiot who should know better. No one told you to curse me. Oh, but you practically begged for it. I'll have my employee make your drinks. Oh, just one drink then. The cursed ones always storm off. So rude. Also, I meant to say it earlier, but your ears are really cute. You shouldn't hide oh, them. Oh, really? Yeah. Welcome to Cafe Latte. What are we getting? Hi, um, how good is your Wi-Fi? I've never known it to fail. Good. I'm I'm sorry, but I have a job interview and it's online and I can't afford to gas up my car so I can't get to the library and they shut off the Wi-Fi at my apartment. The back corner should be quiet and it's well lit. Internet is for paying customers or those who give one dollar. Uh, what caffeinated goodness can I get for two dollars and fifty cents? A small black tea. I'll take it. So, I see you here all the time on that laptop. Do you work, or is it a writing project? Mostly work. I'm an artist. I create at home, but I do the business side here where I can't get so easily distracted. This is the one I made last weekend. I just put the prints up for sale. Holy shit! When I was a kid, a therapist had me draw to express certain emotions or experiences. It helped. And it is a great art prompt. This is the Anger series. That's Envy. Oh, ooh, let me see if I can get the others. Um, those bright and yellow ones are Joy. Mm -hmm. And that collection over there is Love. Mm -hmm. Several different types. That's Platonic. That's Familial. That's Compassion for Humanity. That's First Crush. That's Romance. And that one is Sex. Aw, no nudity? None of these have people. I'm teasing. Appreciatively. Hey, Bob, come check these out. Ooh. Do you sell sparkly or shiny ones? No, but I have started experimenting with those types of paints. Hmm. You okay? You seem a little distracted. Hmm? Oh, the fellow over there is doing a job interview. I'm just making sure it's going well. If it goes poorly, I don't want that attributed to my realm. I would say that one of my biggest weaknesses is um, the anxiety that I'm just really trying to keep a lid on right now during a job interview. Anyway, Nicole, this is excellent. Have you considered teaching? I teach part-time at the academy. Kids like me, somehow. You're very likable. Just, uh, 
maybe don't teach them the sex painting. It's not a painting of sex. It's an expression of what I see and feel when I orgasm. <laughs> Not an appropriate topic of discussion. Not in public. In America. Sorry. Thank you so much. Yes! Oh, did it go well? Oh, so well. They offered me a job on the spot. I told them I'd have to think about it because I was this close to freaking out. I need this job so bad. Wait two days and then call back and tell them that you got another offer with a bigger paycheck. They'll bump their own. Really? I guarantee it. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you so much. Oh, forgot about the tip jar. Ignore it. Just be sure to recommend this place to your new work friends. Congratulations. You made that happen, didn't you? Please, I just gave them a little boost of good fortune. The rest was entirely their own merit. It's okay. Took me a while to admit that I could be a good person, too. Mm. Hi everyone, welcome to Cafe Latte. We appreciate your patience with this busy dinner rush. Um, have you been helped, sir? Yes, ma'am, I have. I'm just waiting for my unicorn frap with pixie dust that Cyrus is making for you now. That is right, I asked you that already. Yes, you did. I am so sorry. I am on hour nine of my shift, and after a certain point, everyone just sort of starts to look the same, and I turn into that blue fish from Finding Nemo. Even as a fairy? Especially as a fairy. You look exactly like a sheriff who tried to execute me a few centuries ago. Oh, it wasn't for anything bad. He wanted to arrest this fellow named Robin for stealing, but I rather liked that rogue, and he only ever targeted horrible rich people and gave it to those on the verge of starvation. So I lied to the sheriff about his location so he could get away. That whole feudal system was terrible, and Robin made so many people happy. Well, except for the rich, obviously. Anyway, what about you? Have you been helped? Yes, you also asked me that. I'm the one waiting for the baker to get the cookies from the back. Right. What about you? No. I'll just take a large, medium roast. Little bit of room for cream. Oh, we love simple orders in the rush. Four dollars. I'll get started on that. And then I'll take your order, sir. Welcome to Cafe Latte, where there's no such thing as luck so much as karma. What can I get for you? Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm a nurse, and I just finished a double shift, so I'm at around hour 30 on my feet. And you're two days ago? Three days ago? Before that, it was a regular 12-hour shift, so that's 42 hours up and about in the last three days. I've still got another 15, 20 minutes of driving to do before I get home and I fall into a coma. And I'm falling asleep at the wheel. I would really rather not end my day by driving off the road and killing someone. And I neglected to steal any uppers or adrenaline shots from work because I'm an idiot. And also there were cameras. My coworker said that you might have a solution. Yes. Yes, I do. My God, woman. Oh, well, you think you're tired? Try having four kids. See? You don't have it so bad. Shut up. I'm just saying, you're not a mom, so you don't know what true fatigue is. Shut up. I cannot believe we're gatekeeping who gets to be tired or not. Right? I'm tired too, but you don't hear me gloating about it. Okay, so drinking one drop of Eldritch blood is like getting an adrenaline shot, especially when you mix it with caffeine. Problem is, that keeps you up for three days. Highly recommend you drink one of those before one of these atrocious little work shifts of yours. I can give you half a drop mixed with a drink of your choice to keep you awake and alert long enough to get home. And then pixie dust will help put you down. One dose is a nice relaxant. Our usual clientele for that are people with anxiety. Three doses will put you down flat for at least eight hours. It's better than melatonin. Isn't pixie dust that thing with Tinkerbell that makes you fly? No, but you will get some weird dreams, which is probably where that myth and the whole Neverland thing came from. Is it addictive? Ugh, fuck it, I don't care. I'll do both of those things, please. Put the Eldritch thingy or whatever in a cider, if you will. Half a smash and an apple dried cider, please, Cyrus. And uh, we'll put the dust in a little baggie for you. Just mix it in with a cup of your drink of choice when you get home. Tea, cocoa, milk, whatever. Booze? Not unless you want a Woodstock level trip. Now let me add the protector of the realm discount here. The what? I never really got into Game of Thrones. It's military, first responders, healers, firefighters. 
in the Fey realm, they're all considered protectors of the realm. Some kingdoms call them guardians. It's it's 10% off, making your total $6 flat. One half a smash and a triple dose of pixie dust for the overworked lady. What's with that one? I'll handle that one. You okay to drive home, sweetie? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm coming back here. You're never getting rid of me now. I feel both complimented and threatened. I should have opened this place closer to a hospital. As for you, I'm going to let you talk now, but anything you purchase will cost double for your little display of rudeness back there. Four kids. You should know to be polite. Welcome to Cafe Latte. Behold my getup. Were you not wearing your uniform before now? Of course I was. It just didn't exist before now. Fey rules are really weird. You just kind of go with it. The merch is new, though. I mean, we've got t-shirts, hats, aprons, coffee mugs, water bottles. It's all linked in my bio. Okay, I get the coffee mugs and the water bottles, but who would want to buy any of the other stuff? I assume the people who watch these TikToks. We're in a TikTok? Oh dear. Let's avoid that existential crisis and forget all about it, shall we?